Hello everyone and thank you for coming to the Deb Chanel's 48th World featuring the family affair. Okay, yes, we got some trouble situations of brewing. We got a storm brewing with Todd Tucker being the center of attention. Yes, from what I'm told by Urban Bell Mag Magazine, by the way of Amanda Sun. Anderson Niles writing her commentary over there at Urban Bell. Mag Magazine. Go on and check them out over there. They always have a salacious stories. But they putting one out on Todd, y'all. Todd is cutting up and Mama Joyce is coming to the rescue. You know she ain't going to let her baby candy girl. Candy girl. You are my world. You love so sweet. You are special treat. Yes, honey. Todd is going over there shaking things up. And Mama Joyce says she was going to be on that ass. Yes, she did. If he coming up short. But Anderson Niles, uh, Amanda Anderson Niles had titled her article, Todd Tucker and Candy Birds have a heated conversation over Mama Joyce. Now, what the heck is Mama Joyce doing out down those streets trying to get Candy and Todd and Arts with one another. Well, I'm going to tell you by way of Anderson, Anderson Niles article. She goes in and say, Real Housewives of Atlanta star Candy Burris has hit a rocky patch in her marriage. In fact, Todd Tucker feels as if Candy works too much. So she's not available enough for him and the kids. He also feels as if Candy's friends come before them too. I'm like, Lord, I'm so tired of hearing about Todd whining about he ain't getting enough attention. Get a job, Todd. Get a job in film or editing or some type of productions so you could keep your mind busy because our idle mind is a devil's workshop. Okay, our idle mind is a devil's workshop, meaning you're going to be up to no good if you don't get into them trenches and find you something to do, whether it's making you money or not, because we already done said that you're not going to make as much money as candy. You're too late on in life like that unless you go get ahead of a show and you're featuring housewives men or some to that degree. Something what Peter was trying to get Bravo to buy into, but they passed his ideal up, okay? But anyway, you're not gonna be as famous as Candy, not at this point in life unless something turns around. So you're gonna have to be Mr. Burrs from now on or go do something. I don't know what to tell you to do anymore because evidently you ain't doing nothing. You ain't taking nobody hints and suggestions. You still want to be up Candace behind and, and pretty much her bodyguard or whatnot. I mean, you the one wanting to have a family. You the one saying yes to both of y'all getting pregnant and, you know, having a baby. Uh, doing all those glorious things one do to have a family. You said that's what you wanted to have. That's what you said. Now, are you trying to renege on that now? I'm not sure, but Mama Joyce is going to get into that ass. That's not in the article. That's in my perspective. Okay, my personal commentary. But going back to the article, it says, So Candy decided that they needed to have a counseling session. Although both were able to put everything out on the table, they will have more issues on the upcoming episode. And it stems from Todd's trouble relationship with mama joyce well you know candy tried to lie back when way on back when trying to tell social media that todd and riley were okay they were mixing their blended families everything's good in the hood but people like me deb chanel and the family fell we knew better honey we knew better we knew that was a firecracker wait, waiting to unite again or ignite. And it could not wait on the 4th of July. Okay, it's always stuff been going down. They ain't never truly accepted Todd. And if anybody can get down in them comments on the family affair side. Could y'all tell me, do Todd have any cousins? Do he have any other aunts? Do he have any other family? Do he have a dad out there somewhere? Because it seemed like he just sold up with her family. He ain't got nobody. You know, but Mama Joyce and her family, you know, they ain't looking at Todd like true, true family. Because he ain't coming with no money. Okay? They still looking at Todd sideways. 
Woo! But anyway, going back to the article, it says Todd Tucker and Candy Burris are hoping they can sort out their issues. But things will get tenser between them on the upcoming episode of The Real Housewives of Atlanta. At their baby shower, Candy says that she wishes Mama Joyce was there. Todd says he tried to call her to invite her, but Joyce didn't pick up the phone. Candy then says that she wishes he didn't do what he did earlier at the restaurant. And he should have at least came out to speak to Joyce. But Todd gets irritated and says, Your mom done said some shit that's fucked up as well. Okay, like, Todd, what you say, honey, to Mama Joyce? Now, you know you can't go be all willy-nilly and say things because she's a seasoned woman. She take things to heart. Then she's going to be up in that ass later on, okay? Now, you know Candy going to side with her mama. She going to side with her mama, honey. But anyway, that was my sidebar. Going back to the article, it says, and he tells Candy they can either have a good night or argue. But the decision is up to her. Woo! Todd gave him too many ultimatums around. Now, first he told Cannon in the latest episode, she either want to be here or she don't want to be here. I'm like, Todd, you forget who house you in, aren't you? And you meant to say, do she want to be in this relationship? Because I know you ain't talking about being up in that house because you didn't pay for that house. I think she got that house by herself. I'm, I'm you know, y'all may, oh, well, then again, y'all may have put some money in it, but I'm sure she could buy your ass right on out and put you aside the street. Have you come back, leave with your duffel bag or whatever, okay? Because all them cars y'all got, they leases look like. Because that was pretty much shown to us or told to us when she was trying to give us some good hints on how to take advantage of <coughs> this uh, situation where they're giving out extensions and stuff on loans you may have out there. She pretty much let us know that all them cars y'all got, uh, y'all making notes on them, okay? So it's not like she actually set aside, bought them Lock, box, and when it lock, bag, box, and I ah, hell, y'all know what I'm talking about. Lock, stock, and barrel. There we go. She didn't do that. So, yeah, you pretty much like the everyday Joe out there. They can come get anything, take anything back, and you can walk away scot free pretty much. Okay. I'm sure you have to be a, a certain, y'all signed a prenup, so I'm sure it's a clause in there with basically saying you have to be married so many years before you could get this, that, and the third. We all know Candy made more money than you. So, she definitely said before she married you. And Mama Joyce made clear of that. Get that prenup before you marry that joker, okay? Get the prenup before you marry the joker. You don't want to have what happened to me happen to you, okay? That's what she probably said. Because that's what most mothers do. I didn't do that pretty much. But I'll tell my girl, if she had money, have to secure yourself. Even before she was probably dating somebody getting serious. Secure yourself. And secure your mom if you want to take care of me. <laughs> Don't forget about your mama girl. But anyone, let's listen to a video clip that Urban Bell had actually, or Amanda uh, Anderson Niles had put in her piece of her article. Let's see if it'll play. I think it's of an upcoming scene um, that's going to be playing probably the last episode that should air on um, this coming Sunday. But let's see if I can pick it up. <coughs> Come on, stop buffering. Come on, let's come on now. Let's do this thing. I tell you, every time I want y'all to hear something, it always want to buffer or whatnot. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, to get ready, few minutes more, I a feeling. <coughs> Guys, it don't look like it wants to play. I don't know what's going on with it. <coughs> but it was supposed to actually give us a preview or what was supposed to be said but if anyone saw the last part or had a chance to see my last video i put out the upcoming episode and i think it's the last episode supposed to be showing us <coughs> where they're gonna be at candy's little baby shower that caught todd called himself putting together and they're gonna be arguing about something 
and they really be pushing pushing it to the limit yes honey so I get up there and say some nasty stuff to her and Candy didn't like that it was almost like the uh, narration that I gave you when he was saying uh, you can all we can argue about it now we can argue about it later pick it pick your poison honey cuz I'm ready to go he was ready he was lot loaded and ready to spray candy but he didn't care nothing what she was talking about I like candy girl what have you got yourself into with this young man because he definitely this is really okay job. like first of all candid i hope y'all heard that if it'll play again i'll repeat it but i would like candid did you did you did, why you let him talk to you that way girl because first of all we wouldn't have waited until we got there that night to talk about why todd didn't come say hey to the mama joyce okay if 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 she really needed to be said hey too you know, we would have got that shit straight out before we left the OLG game. We would have had went back there, meaning we, meaning myself. I was like, look at here. If Mama Sharon was out here, I would have came out and spoke to your mom. I would have thought that mama road tripping now. And then if he couldn't respect that, I was like, Edgar, you better bring your ass out here and say hey to my mama, okay? And that's all that needs to be said. Ain't nobody pulling rank or anything. But if somebody asks for you, you ain't seen them in a while. And don't ask me why her and Todd hadn't seen each other in a while. But, I mean, you bring the mountain to Muhammad. You know what I'm saying? You bring Todd to the mama. And he could say as little as or as a, a lot as he want. But he would have been speaking to my mom. Because that's just a courtesy and respect. And it seemed like Todd was trying to, like, I had a lot to do, a lot was going on. No, it wouldn't have took a moment. Because if it was somebody else out there to see you, maybe your boys or something to that degree, your ass would have been out there. So, your ass would have been out there saying hello to anybody I needed you or wanted you to say hello to. And that's how that shit would have went. So, it seems like a lot is going on. That's why I said families, unless y'all got a really tight, tight family situation. Everybody know what position they playing. Don't get in no um, mutual business relationship. Because it always turns out sour. It always turns out sour, Lord. So I'm speaking from experience. But anyway, let's see if we can play that clip just a one more time. Six hours ago, he called her prior to that event. Lord knows he's 
when he said that you want to argue or do you want to have a good time, I would be arguing. I would be getting loud. I would be knowing everything. Because hell, it was my baby shower. I would have turned that shit out regardless. And he would have left because he would have been embarrassed. But, honey, I would have had my peace. I was just saying, you know, right is right, wrong is wrong. And... You know, she wanted her mom there, evidently. He tried to get her there. He called her. But, I mean, if you disrespect anybody to a certain degree, they ain't going to want to fool with you. And she probably would have got in Todd's ass if she had come to the baby shower. But, uh, like I said, you know, Todd being his feelings too much for him to be a man. He almost act like he got a menstrual cycle going on or something. I don't know. But I'm like, y'all, you and Candy better get it together. <laughs> Unless y'all just playing this role and y'all just gooping us or whatnot. Just trying to give us a, a salacious story to uh, take part of. Mindless drama, whatever. But if he's serious and this how this joker act, girl, honey, I'm like, cut your losses and get the hell on from that man. Because he's going to give you a whole lifetime worth of pain than what you had envisioned he was going to give you. Then you sit here. Said that I gotta take care of these two children that you done bought here along with his help and the Lord's help, honey. They beautiful, blessed, healthy children, I'm sure. But honey, you just got the wrong man, cause honey. He gonna end up be saying, uh, do do you want this marriage or you want your mother? And you know, you you can't put them two together, honey. Cause you better choose your mama if she was somebody, you know, uh really trying to uh raise you right and brought you to where you are. With the help of the Lord. Because for a man to even make you choose. That's lesser than a man. You know what I'm saying. So. Child. Can you got your work cut out for you girl. But family. I'll get in them comments. Y'all tell me what y'all think about Mr. Todd. Cutting up. Acting up. Knowing he ain't got a pot to piss in. And a window to sling it out of. Girl. He better get back in line. Can you might need to remind him. Who make more money. Okay. Who make more money. Who make more money rocks the cradle. And the cradle will rock by that hand who's holding that cradle. And it ain't toy, honey. Because you can get up several more toys. So you can get another man you can buy. Oh, but child, child, child. Todd done got beside himself with his laser behind. But anyway, that's all I got for this story, guys. Y'all get down in them comments. Y'all tell me what y'all felt about the episode or that's coming up if you got a chance to see um real housewives of atlanta this past sunday and what you know what you feel about the article that was brought out by urban bill mag magazine honey because that looked like a marriage that's in trouble and candy can't see the forest for the trees child she can't see the forest for the trees but i'm like girl we we went we we, we would have no disrespect when it comes to the elderly people we would have no disrespect because you know how your mama was acting before you married this man and he, he ain't gonna change and damn sure mama just ain't gonna change she don't want to change so you got to make some hard decisions child some very very hard decisions but anyway that's all i got for this video y'all enjoy it y'all tell me what y'all thought about subject matter not me okay subject matter and i will see y'all next video but don't forget to hit that like button subscribe and share the video share share sharing is caring okay bye bye or see you later i should say